beautiful people it's your girl Shay from Northeastern and today I'm coming to you guys with a what not to pack for college video I know you guys are starting to do your back to school shopping so I wanted to save you some coins and save you some space so let's get started number one I do not recommend you bringing a bunch of uncollapsible items because it's going to be hard to pack Heart to store and it's just gonna make your move in pro you move out process I'm sorry so much longer don't bring like the plastic shower caddy you can use the mesh one don't bring a crate you can use a collapsible bin especially for people who are flying two you do not need to bring a printer if your school has printing dollars my school, they have printers almost in every building and they have printing dollars. You buying a printer is expensive because the ink is expensive and also it's just going to end up being a big paperweight. So don't do it. Three, you do not need to bring a bunch of summer items if you go to school in the northeast area. The amount of time you're going to be wearing your summer items will be like a a week to three weeks is not it's not that long so the majority of your items should be geared towards winter fall Four, you do not need to bring a lot of t-shirts because there's going to be so many free things on campus so many people giving you free shirts to do this activities blah 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 blah, blah. so I don't recommend bringing a bunch of t-shirts unless you're a person who wears t-shirts like on a daily number four ladies you do not need to bring a bunch of heels okay everyone's like oh I'm gonna glow when I go in college I'm gonna be dressing nice that act is gonna end pretty early okay people at parties they wear sneakers they wear flats they wear boots they wear things with short heels okay you bringing your five inch heels is not gonna be it's not gonna help you out at the end of the party when you have to walk barefoot on the dirty ground okay six I do not recommend bringing all your beloved books and DVDs because they're just gonna end up being paperweights since you're gonna be so busy making friends being social doing homework you're not gonna have time to pull out the good old book that you love or find a DVD player for your DVDs so I recommend leaving that at home you can find it online yeah seven my school I don't know about everyone else's school but my school has TVs everywhere there's a TV that was in my freshman basement not even a TV there was three so literally people who the gamers the people who like to come downstairs at 9 o'clock and watch their favorite TV show, everyone just brought an HDMI cord so they can watch TV at the school. They didn't need to bring their own TV. So I think that's something you don't really need to invest in. Eight, I do not understand why people bring a drying rack. Like, use a hanger and hang it up on your bed hang it up on your chair be resourceful you do not need to be wasting money nine you do not need excessive decorations one it's going to lose its significance and then two if you put bring a whole bunch of decorations it's going to look cluttered everybody wants to have this tumbler style dorm when you're moving out and you have to take all that mess down you're gonna be angry with yourself I'm just saying so keep it keep it on a limit you don't need to buy everything and that comes with decorative pillows as well I had brought one I had brought a two pack but I left one at home and the one I brought just sat on the windowsill for most of the year so I would say bring a maximum of two decorative pillows because when are you ever actually going to use it I'm just saying 11 if you do not iron your clothes now, you don't need to be bringing an iron in the ironing board to just have it sit there. People in the dorm, people on campus, somebody will have an iron if you actually needed it. 
but you yourself don't actually need to buy one it's not necessary 12 you don't actually need to buy excessive school supplies in college most people just use their laptops i write because i think it's better for my memory and when it comes to testing things so i only brought five subject notebook pencils pens highlighters sticky notes and flashcards that's about it oh and my planner that was the most precious thing to me i like to write in my planner it helps me memorize things and i i just like to write better so you don't need to be bringing a whole bunch of binders and folders and you don't need that 13 i wouldn't recommend bringing a lot of kitchen kitchenware um i'd rather disposable items because after couple of weeks I didn't feel like washing my dishes or anything anymore so they just sat there for the entire year matter of fact all my storage things I never used them that's because I I just used my dining plan my meal plan and lastly I do not recommend bringing a bunch of large furniture I saw this girl during tour she had this big old couch and about a walkway in her room that was big enough for her i don't understand how that was enjoyable and that's just going to make it hard to move out where are you going to put it once you do move out if you're flying to school like what are you doing just don't do it at the end of the day my tips to you guys are make sure your items are collapsible easy to pack easy to store in a storage unit and try to get things that are affordable you don't have to go all out Remember, you just paid a whole bunch for your senior year festivities. So, good luck. Thanks for watching. And comment down below if anything you regret bringing to college. Alright, bye guys.